One of the things that's trending right now is a video of a teacher allowing his students to unbraid their hair. And the biggest question surrounding that is whether it's appropriate or not. For the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate and other people saying this was completely fine. There was nothing wrong with what I was doing and people were just making it weird. So of course I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video and I was one of the ones being interviewed. So I had to look presentable so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself because it would have taken me forever. So naturally I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball darts or be on their phones or whatever and during that time my team would help me take my hair out a couple of these were students from my class but others were students from other classes i would all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal i told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior they all met the criteria so 10 minutes before dismissal they showed up for their job my next point i like to make is if i was a female teacher those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. Some of these students have been with me since I was a substitute four years ago. It's giving weird, but I don't know why. I don't know why. I can't, I can't put my finger on it. As far as like what he said, they look like they're having fun. And a lot of times they probably know each other and they just having fun chatting with each other, undoing his hair. They're not thinking of anything uh, devious. And to me, I don't think a kid, he said my hundred best friends, like I don't think kids can be your best friend because you have a role of authority in their life and you can be cool with them but at the at the end of the day there's there's boundaries to me like with that they're having fun he's not doing he's he's obviously on live so he's not doing anything to make them uncomfortable and i could see him as a teacher wanting to get to know the student and knowing a little bit about their life and their background i think that that is important establishing relationships with them so, hey, I know that you have this going on at home. You might be going through this, etc. And he said if it was a female teacher, it wouldn't be the same type of attitude. No, it would not be. As a woman, that nurturing, like it's okay for you to ask kids certain things or you to have close relationships with them, especially because these are young girls. So it is cool for you to talk to them. Now, mind you, I am going to be doing like a video later on this month about these teachers. But female teachers need to be watched, too, because if y'all ain't been paying attention to social media or the news, it's been a lot of team of female teachers messing with their student. Now, I'm not going to say that this man is a perv because I don't know, but I think that it is something that as a parent or whatever, you should keep an eye on. And, I don't, and from what I'm getting from him, he likes his job. Like he said, he's been there since he was a substitute. So you, you're establishing a relationship with a student for four years. And you're watching them grow and progress throughout their um, education. They see me as a big brother or a father figure, as some of them say. 
and me i don't want kids of my own so all of these kids are literally my children and in case you're wondering about their parents most of them follow me on social media and always talk about my videos with their kids they always tell me that they're so grateful that their kids have someone like me in their life and my admin they're well aware of my social media presence and they love my videos to me this is just another wholesome moment that i'm having with my kids that i was fortunate enough to catch on film since i'm a science teacher one thing that i teach my students about is symbiosis symbiosis deals with the relationships between organisms the type of relationship that i like to foster in my class is mutualism or mutualistic relationship which means both organisms benefit from the exchange so when my students have good behavior complete all their assignments and do everything that a scholar is supposed to do i reward them with downtime and just time to just be a kid be on their phones play games gossip so on and so forth my students and i work hard and we play harder I'm fortunate enough to have students that feel safe and comfortable around me. Safe to come to me with their problems, their frustrations. They come to me seeking guidance and wisdom. Or come to me simply to chill and hang out because they know that they have a safe space to be themselves around me. What I strive to do as an educator is be the teacher I wish I had grown up. I strive to be the teacher that makes my inner child happy. Someone that my inner child will be proud of. I want to be the teacher that my students reflect back on 20, 30 years down the line and think like, dang, that teacher I had in middle school, he was the shit. No further questions, your honor. So let me know your thoughts in the comments. You think this was inappropriate or people were making something out of nothing? And although you are entitled to your opinion, all I ask is that you be respectful. Thank you. Uh, Let's go ahead. I wonder how his relationship is with his male students parents know about it they know about they uh are happy about the relationship he has with the students and if the parents are okay with it and they're monitoring the situation they don't have a problem with it i don't have a problem with it because that's your kid so you know more so about their relationship you know what type of person he is with your children he may have helped some of these children through difficult situations or they're coming to him to confide in him and he's helping them out. That's great because sometimes you do need a confidant that you could talk to that's older than you. And if you find that in your teacher and they're going to steer you in the right direction and they're not doing anything devious behind it, fine. Now, when I was in high school, we had advisors and we had advisory and our advisory was separated by grade level, uh, gender, and that's how it was. Like my advisor was a female. The boys had male advisors, and we would probably have to be there for like thirty minutes or whatever. And that's just how it was. Like I remember, um, me and a couple of my my uh, people in my advisory we spent the night at. Uh, my our advisor's house like and it was a bunch of us we had a sleepover whatever she got permission from our parents cool this in particular i felt like he should have took his hair down after he did the little meeting on friday i feel like he should have took his hair down but apparently this was just a cool vibe they was enjoying themselves with other students i'm done for the day see ya i gotta go celebrate my principal see ya thank you all help i'll see y'all something I'll get y'all something. Hey, you came louder. Wait, no, Kendall! I'm saying you try to dab you up. Dab you up, for Wait, you're helping me out. Oh, yeah. I'll get y'all with something. Really? Okay, bye. Alright, Jimmy. Wait, what are you gonna give them? I don't know. Oh! Why? Why are you worried? Nobody likes getting calls off. Yeah, I'm gonna get calls off. I'll figure something out. Wait, what? I'll figure something out. No, I don't think what she said. Again, it's green. Y'all can leave. I'm done for the day. Go home. It's green. Let me go home. Let me go home. Your bus not here, Connor. Your bus not here. Please go home. It's green. Goodbye. 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 Yeah, people make everything weird. Like... Here. I'm done for the day. Okay, and this other students up in there. It was just like a chill vibe. 
Um, he not by himself. Like, okay, fine, whatever. And he dappled him up. He's like, could you, could you go get this? <laughs> they said Popeye's. Nah. Like, I ain't about to lie to you. Like, I remember when I was in uh, school and Mr. Bettis, that's when I was in elementary. He had like a McDonald's up the street at the mall. <laughs> and like on Fridays during lunch break, if we was good, like some of us could walk up there <laughs> And go, he'll take us up there. We take it like a field trip and get us some McDonald's. So man, I'm I'm cool with cool teachers. Um, a lot of times what happens is you got some cool teachers that really care about their students, that really establish relationships with with students, and it's a good vibe. It's not anything predatorial. But then you have some people that are predatorial. And they present themselves as good and they're putting these kids in situations where they're gaining the kids trust and they're grooming them to take advantage of them later on. And that happens. Now, I'm not going to say, oh, because he's a male teacher. I'm not going to pretty much I'm not going to do that with him. I don't I'm, I'm not going to make villainize him, make him a pervert because there are people out there that do that. Best two out of three. I get practice right. done, right? Yeah. Well, we, we need to get one practice. Harder. No, I'm Why does she not harder than Bridget? You got some noise, bro. Brian, let's ask. No. What just harder than Bridget? Oh, he hit bulls already with. Oh, I was cut. Yeah, you are. Okay, that's all right. I mean, that's all. Oh, I'm hard. You can go first. Yo, you don't have to watch. Harder than what? Harder than what? Martin. Oh, wait, no. Wait, I'm cool. What is that? Oh, I'm sorry. Start moving. What did he get? 29. 29. Oh, God. All you gotta do is get the 20. All you gotta do is get the 20. All you gotta do is get the 20. What you need, bro? That's a 10. See you. What do you need? I know, yeah. Oh my yeah, god! No, 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 you get it, you get it, you get it. It didn't hit the word. It didn't hit the end of yourself. I like I didn't see it. That's why I get for you to see your left hand. No, we got one. Got one! Because he didn't ask me to. It didn't. Hey, he didn't think about it. Man, I can't. I can't. Ah. 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 That's dope, man. I, like I said, he's spending time with the male and the and the female students equally. I'm gonna make you look foolish for a second time. You bet your ass I let my students paint my nails before. The student that you see in this video has goals and aspirations to be a nail tech. Not only does she do nails, she does hair makeup she's a dancer super intelligent she's pretty much a jack of all trades since that's the homie she came up and saw my nails looking a little rough and she decided she wanted to give me a fresh clear coat and just to add this in there right before this video my students took a standardized oh, one of those state test and typically after state testing i let the students chill because who the hell wants to do work after you know all morning sitting at a desk taking a test not only was this moment captured during our downtime, because I'm not just like, hey, we're not going to learn science today. I actually have to get my nails done, so all you just watch me, because, you know, that would be dumb. Her guardians are well aware of this. Her mom literally watches my videos all the time. Not only does she love my content, but she signed a media release form for her daughter so she can be in my videos. Y'all men are literally telling on yourselves in the comments. Why are y'all projecting your weird ass energy? Just cause you're messed up in the head doesn't mean everyone else is. There's a future nail tech right here. So if she sees my hands looking rough and want to give me a fresh top coat, I'm going to let her do her thing every flipping time. If you know middle school girls, I wouldn't even just say middle school, I'd say high school too. If you know middle school and high school girls, you know that there are all hairstylists, makeup artists, so on and so forth. A lot of them that actually do true. hair for money on the side. So if I need my hair taken out and my school's hairstylists are willing to do it, I'm going to let them do their thing every single time. It's not like they were held at gunpoint and forced to do this. They wanted to help me. 
It's not like we were alone in the classroom and I was getting my feet rubbed while I was getting my hair taken out by minors. We're in a room full of students with a camera pointed directly at us, protecting not only myself, but my students as well. I support my students in everything they do, whether it's hair, nails, art, or staying late after school because my students wanted to work on their soccer skills because one day they're going to be playing in the league. We got to stop projecting our own insecurities and weird ways of thinking onto other people who are doing nothing but positive things in the world. Of all the screwed up things going on in the world today, you're coming at a teacher who's doing nothing but impacting the lives of the youth, doing nothing but making these kids excited to come to school every day. We literally have teachers out here that are struggling to get their students into the building, let alone their class. I literally have to kick kids out of my classroom. Literally at the end of the day, I have to kick them out of my class because they don't want to leave. All throughout the day while I'm teaching a class, I got students coming from other classes trying to be in my room. Find something better and more productive to do with your time. Judging from the fact that you made a fool out of yourself several times in the comment section leads me to believe that you still got a lot of unpacking to do. So you should probably go sit on someone's couch or even like we're doing in this video go touch some grass probably do you some good yo Take i can care. respect that you know what i mean like i i thought that earlier there are some like teenagers that do um they do hair that's what they do that's their side hustle that's how they get their money they putting in weaves they doing braids for girls and boys uh dread locks makeup all of that you know they getting money and to me i don't like i said he's in front of a camera everybody saw what he was doing their parents comfortable with it cool um i think just it's he's creating a safe environment for his students and sometimes depending on what type of neighborhood they live in that may be the only piece that they know that may be the only safe space that they have. Some people, and I know I find it odd because most people don't want to go to school, but some people, their only safe space is at school. Like my sister was telling me um, earlier, she was like, I've done um, a student therapy. Or you have people having to help these kids bring clothes to kids, or et cetera. Yes, you have some pervs out there. Yes, you have some people that's just doing wrong. But then you have some people that's doing right and are really trying to help these kids. Like, he out there playing soccer with these kids. Some of them might not even have their father actively involved. And this could change their life completely and alter their path like, yo, Somebody that care about your grades. Somebody that cares about you. Yo, you out there playing soccer with them. These are moments that they're going to remember forever. Yeah, let's go ahead and start clearing some people. We'll start off with this gentleman right here. Uh, you're letting your daughters play in a grown man's head. God forbid I had kids, but if I had a daughter with a teacher like myself, with a good heart, good spirit, sound mind, no, I would not mind if they took his hair out. That's what little girls like to do. They like to do hair and do nails and makeup. I have five little sisters. You bet your ass I done had a wig on my head before, had a whole lace front. I done got my nails painted, eyebrows done. Bro, this is what they do. As a father, I would even let my daughter do those things. Like if she wanted to paint my nails pink or freaking put a wig on me or do my hair or put makeup on me. I'm going to do every single one of those things. You know why? Because I'm secure in my masculinity. That's one thing that I think is stumping a lot of guys, a lot of grown men today, is they are not secure with themselves and they project their own insecurities onto others. Everything doesn't have to be weird. It's even the way you worded this question. Read this. You letting the, your daughters play in a grown man's head. Do you see how you're already trying to spin that? That show, that's very telling of what you have going on upstairs. We as a people have to abandon this idea of, you know, sexual intimacy being tied with getting your hair done. People have this view because typically you're intimate in a sexual manner with someone who does your hair. Oh, no, no, you Automatically. Because I ain't got my hair done by women and me. Mostly women. And I, I ain't no sexual there. Man either. Like, yo, I'm coming to you for a service. <laughs> it ain't that type of service. I'm coming here to get my hair done. Uh, as far as just like, I find it weird. Like, I'm weird. I wonder what made him not want to have kids.
because this is the second time he's mentioned this. And he was like, God forbid I ever have kids. Like something happened to him where he don't want to have kids. This whole hair video is going to cause some people to be like, oh, where's that? That's weird. But again, it's very telling of your own state of mind. For you to watch a video like that, literally had the camera set up, protect myself, protect my students. Y'all can see there's nothing suggestive going on. It's like it's like family, it's like community, as people were saying in the chat. This is simply a wholesome, innocent, community-oriented activity. As people mentioned, hair is very important in black culture. We connect and we bond through our hair. And just like I said, little girls love to do hair. Bro, they jumped at the opportunity to help take my hair out and showcase their skills, their talents, and their abilities. Because a lot of them, they do hair. They got little side hustles. They do nails. They do they do nails, hair, and tracks. What's up? And I'm going to support black business and support my students every time. Every time. Someone also mentioned, oh, I, I would love to see some of your, you know, your guy BFFs in the video instead of just your girl. B Bro. Do you actually think middle school boys are trying to help They're their male take teacher take his hair out? <laughs> they over there. They either talk about guys doing something they ain't got no business doing or just having the time of their life joking around. Like, they ain't trying to do that. Um, like I said, if the parents cool with it, then so be it. I think that, you know, a lot of times it's, it's trauma or whatever that has have people really cautious so certain things you see red flags now i found it i and it was something weird about it i really couldn't put my hand on it but i'm not gonna call this man a pervert because i've seen his, his videos with the young boys um hopefully you know at this particular point he might get terminated 